sounding. Yeah. Instead of lube, it was icy hot. That's my favorite story of yours. I love it. I've told you that story already. It's a great story. Yeah. Uh, yeah, great for everybody it's, else. It's great. It was awful. Oh, it's great. Sounds? You know, like a, oh, he like, knows like a medical. Sounds. You know, you know. Okay, you know. He knows. The audience sounds. might not know. <laughs> so um, instead of lube, it was icy hot lubed so up it instead. It's a metal tool that dilates the urethra of a male. Sure, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Of a male. And there's different sizes. Um, and you're supposed to lubricate it before you insert it in, you know, to a hard cock. Um, and instead of lube, his dominatrix ended up using Icy Hot. And uh, he was in so much pain that he was killed over and he was at a photo shoot and they uh, wanted to call an ambulance and he wouldn't let them and just handled his business and maybe a half hour, 45 minutes later, he was back on track to finish up his shoot. Wow. Do you know anything about the dominatrix or... That did this? Yeah. Um, you'd have to ask him because I he told me the story, but he told me it a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. So I don't remember about the dominatrix. What was the deal with the dominatrix who did that to you? He wanted to know more about that. <clears throat> she was brand new to working as a pro, mm-hmm. but was not new to doing like shoots and videos and other things. She had done that for a couple of years with us, and then she became pro. And then she did that. Because she wanted to try it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and apparently by try it out, she wanted to just fucking do it live with me. She didn't tell me she was going to do it. She's like, I got a couple things I want to try since I'm new to this. I was like, all right. All right, let's do it. Thinking it's like going to be a newbie play. Right. Right. So you like, this would be it's, 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 it's somebody right. I, I did shoots with already. Right. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So then all of a sudden she goes, I want to try a couple new things. I said, well... I'm up for whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Then, <laughs> she shot my ass down. I'm like, all right, this, this is cool. I'm like, whatever. It's not unlike half the things we shoot. Right? Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, she busts out a sound. I'm like, ooh, I know what that is. That's, that's going to get lubed up. And, but she didn't tell me. She didn't tell me she was lubing up with Icy Hot. She just showed it to me and said she was lubing it up. And then when it went down, I was like, what the hell's happening? The fire set in. Oh, my God. And she goes, oh, by the way. And she's like laughing while she's telling me. I'm like, oh, my Lord. It was terrible. Terrible. I thought I was peeing fire. It was, <laughs> my God. And it didn't, it, it didn't go away when she was done. It, that shit stayed for like two hours. It was not the business. No. <laughs> It was terrible. But you didn't allow them to call an ambulance? You handled your no, business? I did. I handled my shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so would you say that was a bad situation that you were put in? Because you've labeled it now as your best scene. But is it a bad situation or have you been in a bad situation? I wouldn't call it a bad situation. No. Because it was somebody I knew, I shot with, I trusted. She escalated it mm-hmm. a bit. Mm-hmm. more than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it was still doable. Yeah, like, at the end of the day, everybody was safe. Everybody went home happy. You know, it was it was fun. Thanks for listening to Bound to Talk. Look for us on YouTube, iTunes, or visit boundtotalk.com. <laughs>